Hi everyone, this is David from Dax Leather and welcome back to another leather crafting video. Today we have a very special leather we're going to be working on in the workbench. This is a Rocaro Shell Cordovan leather in a black marble color. If you've been following the channel, you'll know that I'm a big fan of Cordovan leather and in this occasion I had the opportunity to get my hands on this beautiful marbled piece. So I'm going to make a review of this leather in another video once I finish with all the small projects using this small height and will give you my opinion and compare it to other Cordovan leather brands such as Horween and Jinky Shell. Now this is a very small piece as you can see but when working with Cordovan you always want to take as much advantage as possible from the height since it's a very expensive and rare leather. So to make the wallet I began by tracing the edges of the card slots and the outer panel using a scratch awl and then proceed to cut them out using a cutting ruler and an exacto knife. Once I had all the pieces cut out, I had to look for a nice arrangement because of the aesthetics of the marble color and then prepare the edges of the card slots by burnishing them with some water, a wooden edge slicker and then paint them all in black and polish them with some tokonoli burnishing gum and a small piece of canvas cloth.
For the stitching holes, I began by tracing a stitching line with a 4mm edge creaser and used a pair of Seiwa diamond chisels and my poly mallet. Now before moving forward it's time to apply any logos at this point and I did this just by pressuring the logo stamps to the leather. This is a vegetable tan leather and I didn't have any trouble marking the logos. Then I glued the small card slots to the larger ones using a water-based glue called Aquilim 315. This is the first time using this glue and I actually like it a lot. It has a strong hold which is hugely important for this project and doesn't smell at all. Not good, not bad at all, it simply doesn't smell anything, which is actually a good thing. And since this is the first time using it, I'll have to try it out in different projects and leathers to see how well it behaves and will definitely share with you my thoughts and review on this one. Now every time I glue a card slot to another piece, I try to mark the stitching holes once again since it helps the stitching look more aligned on both sides of the wallet. And I also repeat this process when gluing the slot assemblies to the large leather panel.
Choosing the right thread for this project was challenging since I originally wanted the wallet to have a very subtle look in the stitches, but ended up using this cream color simply because I normally use matching colors with uh, my other projects and wanted to try out something different. In the end, I liked how the contrast looked and most likely will use the same thread for the rest of the projects using this leather. Finally, it was time to prepare the edges, paint them, and polish them uh, to leave the wallet ready. And I ended up using my Dremel to quickly sand out any excess of leather and leave the edges as even as possible. And then used a rough sandpaper to remove any excess of fibers left. And after painting and polishing the edges with some black edge paint and token of the gum, the wallet was ready. Overall, I really like working with this Cordovan leather, and as you can see, the contrasting stitches give the wallet a more playful appearance. I actually like this leather so much that I'll definitely be using it for other projects, but maybe try out an even more dramatic color such as lava or sienna. And those marble sections can really give up that unique look any leather project you make. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and find it useful. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more leather crafting projects. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and once again thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.